from our roots, Jehovah's Witnesses have proven their worth by offering spiritual food at the proper time. Our greatest achievement in this endeavor was restoring God's Word, the New World Translation, producing an easy-to-read Bible for peoples of all nations. From our first edition in 1950, we've strived to compose the most faithful translation. Today, Jehovah's Witnesses are happy to announce our latest update, the new New World Translation. We are proud of these clarifications, having been painstakingly produced by our group of dedicated Bethelites, and we promise these anonymous men have the necessary credentials. Come see these exciting adjustments and other enhancements that halt any confusion before it begins, creating a streamlined experience for all. To aid our readers in their careful research, for their convenience, we've replaced the name Jesus with that one guy. We greatly appreciate what that one guy did, but Jehovah's people understand the Bible was written to mainly emphasize his faithful slave. Another update for the benefit of simplicity regards our correct translation of exercise faith. This now is more accurately and smoothly written as physically exert oneself vigorously with unquestionable loyalty. Also, while other Bible translations use the confusing word grace, in the past we've lovingly rendered the word undeserved kindness. Now, to facilitate all those interested, we've carefully and only lightly changed this to undeserved attitude of happy niceness in regards to the mistake maker. To uncomplicate matters even further, John the Baptizer will now be John the Submerger in Water after they've passed a 60-question test about the organization so they can join it and not be killed at Armageddon. When I read the New New World Translation, I was overwhelmed by what I saw and the headaches that followed. I wanted to learn more about Jehovah and that one guy, and with the new new edition, I discovered my eyes would bleed from all the amazing changes. With every new new world translation, we've also added a warning label. The Bible is like a puzzle and can mislead many. Therefore, it should only be read with a faithful slave in mind. For that reason, each page has a loving message from the governing body. Jehovah and that one guy completely trust the faithful slave. Should you not do the same? Let the light of accurate truth illuminate your life, as God's word that can't be hidden was restored from hiding and coming to a kingdom hall near you, on request.